Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are hiking the Big Beehive at Lake Louise. This trail starts at Chateau Lake Louise and is 776 meters of elevation gain and 10.4 kilometers. Yeah, something around that. Make sure you get here early because people come super early to get a parking spot at Lake Louise. We're here on a Saturday morning near the end of July. It's just kind of a steady stream of people going up. Yeah, and so. we got here just before seven, so. <laughs> Between six and seven, I would say would be a good time to start this yeah, hike. For sure. If you're new to the channel, I'm David. I'm Kaylee. And we run an adventure and travel blog. We're passionate about activities that get you outside and off the beaten path. We also just came up with a Canadian Rockies travel guide. So it's got hundreds of our favorite hikes, lakes, waterfalls, hidden hot springs, things like that. We will link that below if you want to check it out. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes so we just made it up to the tea house and it is gorgeous up here. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's been super smoky, but not too much smoke so far. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. The tea house is sitting right on Lake Agnes and it's just over halfway up to Big Beehive. So, so now uh, we're going to be hiking around the lake and up to Big Beehive. Just stop for a little bite to eat, a little brekkie. Yeah, give Bailey a swim. She's getting hot. <laughs> If you're not up for the whole hike or you want to stop for some tea or some, I think they have like some pastries and stuff on the way up or the way down, you can do that too. There's a lot of people here right now just kind of enjoying the morning and having some tea. If you're into fly fishing too while your lady's having tea, fish are jumping like crazy. But we get up and start from the ground. We just made it up to the top of Big Beehive. <laughs> it is a gorgeous view. It's yeah. been really smoky this summer. I guess towards the end of July, BC just started erupting in fires and it's blowing through Alberta but today has probably been one of the more clearer days we got kind of lucky you can kind of see the smoke like sitting lower in the valley but the we views... can see the lake so that's just a bonus <laughs> <laughs> that's what we came up here for so something we were definitely worried about too yeah the hike after the tea house around the lake is flat super easy super beautiful and then yeah. there's just a couple of steep switchbacks but once you get up those the rest of the way over here is pretty flat pretty, flat, yeah. pretty easy so once you've made it to the tea house you're close even if the sky is falling down, even if the sky is falling down, yeah. the sky is falling down. Yeah. All right, we are just about done the hike. It's about 11 o'clock. Took us about four hours with lots of stops for photos and yeah. food and such. <laughs> Overall, this was a really good hike. You get an awesome view for kind of the time and the effort put in and there's lots of stops along the way. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel for more content. <laughs> and don't forget to check out our Rocky Mountains guide that is linked below. Yep. We'll okay. see you guys next week. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.